Hey, how are you doing? My name is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and it feels really good to be back giving you another video, which should help you and make your life just a little bit better. And in today's video, we'll be helping you do something that we get questions about quite a lot. And we get asked, can you actually sync iTunes with Wi-Fi or over Wi-Fi? And that is what we are going to show you today. And if that is something that you want to know how to do, then you need to make sure that you stick with me until the end of the video, because every single step that I'm going to talk you through in this video is vital. So make sure you keep watching right until the end. And before we get started, we'll just ask you to subscribe to the Mobile Trans channel so you don't miss out on any tips and tricks, any of the latest unboxings, and any of the latest reviews on some of the latest devices that get released. Okay, let's get straight into the video and show you how you can sync iTunes over Wi-Fi. And it is a question we get asked quite a lot, so we know a lot of you want to know. So like I said a little bit earlier on, make sure you stick with me in this video for every single step so you don't miss anything. I'm sure you've heard that you can sync your iTunes over Wi-Fi, and it should be something that is really common, but it's quite surprising how many people are not aware of this information and aware that you can actually do it. Apple's products work brilliantly over Wi-Fi and it gives them a lot of possibilities which other products don't have. So with the Wi-Fi on Apple products, you can save things to the cloud, you can send and receive files, and you can use one of my favorite things that Apple products have, and that is AirDrop, where you can send photos, you can send files, you can send documents, you can send almost anything over AirDrop, and that is to do with the Wi-Fi. One of the biggest complaints though that people have when you have an Apple product and want to send stuff over Wi-Fi is you can send everything but music over Wi-Fi and that is probably the most irritating thing about having an iPhone or iPad or any Apple product. But we should just show you how you can actually sync iTunes over Wi-Fi and the first thing you need to know is how you can actually turn Wi-Fi sync on. When you sync over Wi-Fi, this really means that you can keep all of your products and data up to date. So there's not going about days or months where some of the product hasn't synced to your PC, to your Mac, to your iPhone. This is a really good way to make sure that it has all the latest information. Apple does give you a couple of options though. So you can actually decide to sync it manually if that's what you want to do, or you can have that sync on and that just helps you keep everything in one place. So let's just tell you how you can do it and we'll get into those steps. The first thing you'll need to do is to make sure that the device that your iTunes is on and your iPhone are on the same Wi-Fi network. This just makes things a little bit easier. And the next thing you'll need to do is to make sure that your iTunes and your iOS device are up to date on the latest software. And you might ask why it needs to be up to date on the latest software. And that's because if they're not up to date on the latest software, sometimes the sync won't work because your iOS device might be on the newer version of iOS that has features that your iTunes on an older OS does not have. So just easier to make sure that they are all up to date on the latest software so they can talk to each other as easy as possible. When you're inside iTunes, you'll need to select that device icon. You'll then see a little pop-up and this is where you need to select summary. Once you've hit the summary icon, scroll down until you see the option selection. Select the checkbox and it is always positioned next to the sync this phone over Wi-Fi. Then in the extreme lower right corner of your laptop, there is an apply button and just make sure you click on that. Right, when you are done with step five, that is your iPhone synced to your iTunes by doing it the old classic way. But the next part of the video is actually to show you how to turn on Wi-Fi sync. And don't worry, this is not a huge new list of what you need to do. It's just three more things that will help you make sure that your Wi-Fi sync is switched on. So let's crack on with that. The next thing you need to do is tap settings. This will actually open up the rest as our end goal is to get to the sync now option. Next, once you tap the settings button, you'll see a pop up that points to a load of different options. What you'll need to do is just hit general and then quickly skim through the options and then you can have a look at what is available to you. Then you'll need to click on iTunes Wi-Fi sync. This would help the process and your action to get to the next phase, which also happens to be the main goal of this video. Now that is all set up and ready, what you'll need to do is just tap sync now and it will begin to sync. And that is that process done manually. However, now you've done that manually once, the next time that the two devices are on the same Wi-Fi network, that means the iPhone and iTunes will just sync 
automatically and you shouldn't really ever have to do this manually again. The next option we want to give you before we finish this video is actually to show you how you can select and restore your iPhone using a software called Mobile Trans. If you've not heard of this software before, then of course you'll need to go and download it. And the only place to do this is from the official Mobile Trans website, which if you look in the description, you can find a link that will take you straight to it. Then connect your iPhone to your computer and open up that Mobile Trans software. Once you've done that, you'll then need to go and select Restore. You'll then see an option to select iTunes Restore. This will take that iTunes backup and give it to your iPhone using Mobile Trans. You'll see a long list of checkboxes on the next screen, but just go and select Start and the process of restoring from your iTunes will begin immediately and should only take a few minutes. At this point now, hopefully having watched this video, you've learned some things that you just didn't know before, including turning on that Wi-Fi sync option for iTunes. So that means next time that your phone and your iTunes are on the same Wi-Fi network, you shouldn't have to ever back up them manually again, and it should be done automatically over the Wi-Fi sync. Sync. You've also now learned about Mobile Trans as well, a piece of software that can help you back up your phone, it can help you restore your data from iTunes, and it can also help you do a lot with WhatsApp. So if you go onto our channel and search WhatsApp, it can help you save your messages and move them over from an iPhone to an Android with no problem at all. If this video helped you out in any way at all, why not give it a like and also share it to someone who is having the same problem as you, so then it looks like you knew all the information and you can help them out as well. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming up in the next couple of weeks on Mobile Trans. And to make sure you don't miss any of our new videos, why not hit that notification bell so you get sent a notification every time we upload another video. And if you do all of that, we will see you in the next video.